Okay, so hi there Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your June 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy, from In The Stars by Christy.com. And, uh, yeah, it's been a very, very busy month, <laughs> I would say. And we do have a lot of retrograde, so I do have to apologize to you guys ahead of time. I was not able to do the forecast for last month, and then this month there's been some form of delays, but it's always better late than never, right? I'm going to try my best to, you know, work through this in the breeze and to give you guys the insight that you need this month. And if you're new to the channel, um, we are going to be taking a look for the month of June 2021 um, in relation to your love life relationship and what energies might might be unfolding for you um this month of june so um i won't be able to show you guys the the spread so please do bear with me and my face right now but do trust me i do have your spreads here on my table um i just have some form of camera glitches um so um yeah uh let's start so your first card here is the Page of Wands, and this is really more of a situation wherein I kind of feel that you might be looking into something. Maybe you are wanting to start some form of ventures in your life. However, it's crossed over by the, the Seven of Cups. So I kind of feel that this is more of a situation wherein maybe this is the month wherein you are looking forward into something. There is something that you, you want to... To maybe do to begin and all those kind of things and maybe there are some form of conversations talking social events that might be surrounding this month of june however there is a lot of confusion that comes with that as well you know it could be a time wherein you get you are getting overwhelmed with a lot of ideas you're thinking in various things in your life at one point it makes me feel we're in uh, were you were you really planning carefully? Because it makes me feel as if you have been planning carefully about something, but for some reason, you, you are still getting overwhelmed. You're still getting a lot of confusion. And I kind of feel that for many of you, you have been trying to to do some form of work wherein you, tr you want to try to fix something. You're trying to make things perfect. You are wanting to try to to fix some form of situation but for some reason you know i kind of feel it's not easy something is not easy to do and because maybe you are too fixated on your own beliefs to what is right to what is wrong and in a relationship setup this could also be a situation wherein maybe there's confusion maybe you are confused and on your own actions um it's that point of your life where you want to do the right thing, but for some reason, everything comes to a standstill wherein you don't know where it, if this is actually the right thing to do or not. And um, we actually have the death card um, as the future position of this reading. So this is more of a situation wherein you know something is about to get transformed in your relationship. Um, there is also a possibility of ending, you know, uh, or a conclusion about a certain relationship is going to come. I feel that this could be a period of time wherein, you know, there's going to be a, a, some form of beginning, you know, it's a form of a fresh start. So sadly enough, I kind of feel that this could be a period wherein you are about to create some form of overhaul in a relationship. For some of you, it might be a breakup. Or for some of you, this is about you wanting to start your life and begin a new, um, have some form of a fresh venture in your life, basically. We also have here the full card. So I kind of feel that for many of you, maybe it's about going back to the past or moving into the future. I don't know. But we are seeing here that no matter what side of a coin you are going to be choosing, uh, you want to start things afresh and you want to have a leap of faith. You want some form of positive positivity into the situation. And we are 
are seeing some form of wonderful energy and harmonious energy. There could even be some form of good news that might be coming to you. However, what you have to know here is that things are not going to come into your life as if it's magic, you know? Um, yes, the, the, the good things might be entering your life. The good things can begin in your life. But you need to do the hard work. We have here the Seven of Wands as the, your outcome card of this reading, which means that, you know, I kind of feel that this is really more of a situation wherein um, you will be able to do the things that you are wanting, that you are able to do the things that you are envisioning, but you need to do the hard work. You know, you cannot just. Um, be focused on your ego uh, i kind of feel that for some of you guys maybe this is more of a situation wherein uh, you don't want to make some form of adjustment in the relationship you know you want the other person to do things for you. you you don't want to you basically don't want to make an effort to to make some form of adjustment but this is a situation wherein adjustments is going to be needed if you want to 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 really um have some form of results you know a positive venture in your love life i kind of feel that you know um any form of confusion in the relationship needs to end and this might be something that is about to end in your relationship because i kind of feel that you know there's something that's really missing in your life right now there's something that's missing in your relationships and maybe there is a lack of passion, there's a lack of emotions, and this is going to be a time wherein you will have to act upon what you are truly feeling and what you are truly wanting at the same time. So, um, you need to follow your heart, basically, is what we are seeing here. A new beginning will come, but I kind of feel that not it's not about really the new beginning it's really more about what you are about to conclude in your life and in your relationships so it's like it's like having this idea wherein you are is a crossroads in your life and you have a key with you to open that locked door however you are hesitating if you should Maybe you are wanting the other person to open the door for you, even though you have the key with you. So uh, this is really more of a situation wherein I kind of feel that there's going to be some form of offer. Maybe you are going to take action wherein you are going to give some form of um, offer to someone or something. Because we are seeing here some form of message to come and change is going to be following through um so improvement is going to be seen if you try to communicate and resolve any form of misunderstandings into the situation is what we are seeing here and definitely we are seeing some form of message some form of partnership some form of intellectual exchange some form of phone calls is going to be happening and yeah, I kind of feel that this is more of a situation wherein you need you need to to communicate, you know, uh, some form of talking, some form of messages is going to be coming in. And this is not about ego, guys. You have to resolve some form of um, differences that you and the other person have. And in this way, you will be able to maybe continue on the relationship to save the relationship um i kind of feel that this is really not a, a situation wherein a relationship needs saving it's more of a situation wherein there is some form of standstill happening in your in your venture right now with whether it's a relationship personal situation and maybe you you don't want to take action there's a lot of reflection that's been happening in your life but this is really the time wherein you should take action. So listen to me. You have to take action. You need to make some form of effort if you want to have some form of results. And I kind of feel that for many of you, you already know what you have to do. It's just that no one is pushing you to really, you know, take the initiative in making action. But uh, with how things are coming along in this reading, I kind of feel that whether someone pushes you, 
or not, your intuition is going to guide you into something. Your intuition is going to tell you something and it's going to lead you to a path wherein you are going to interact with a specific person to correct mistakes, to navigate certain things and to follow your heart because this is really more of a situation wherein you need to be alive, you need to feel alive. There is something that needs to have some form of zest in your life, something that you haven't felt in such a long time. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you Aquarius people. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your situation. And if you do want a more personal reading, specifically taking a look on your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website. And the spell is by chrissy.com. Again, sorry for this mess up video. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try to improve this later on. Or if you want a, a video just like this one next time without the spread, just let me know, okay? um thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and for being patient with me especially for my aquarius people who are always waiting for their readings thank you um yeah i'll see you guys again next month goodbye